Well, how's it going YouTube? Happy Friday. Just wanted to show you a few changes that I did. Um, I finally covered up those bus bars up there because now I've got my panels in series. They're 80 volts, so I wanted to be safe. And uh, I don't consider 80 volts to be really that low voltage, so I don't want to mess around with it. So I covered it up and put my meter in there. And I thought that was a neat idea. Also, I found this on Amazon. They're DC breakers. Uh, I wanted a disconnect switch that went between the solar and my charge controller um, because you know when you want to work on your system you're not supposed to disconnect your batteries and leave your solar hooked up and it was I didn't want to keep unscrewing this and wear all these screws out so I wanted to get a disconnect switch and I couldn't find one that would handle 80 volts without spending you know 200 bucks well I got this little box and that breaker it's a 16 amp 250 volt DC for uh, $20 so and the box was like $8 and to me that was just a no-brainer makes an easy disconnect if I ever have to uh, turn it off um, I also got these little meters here I'm not using these two because these are going to be for the other batteries but this uh, meter is reading that battery and the other meter is reading that battery and as you can see they uh, fluctuate just a little bit. If I put on a load, they'll kind of even out uh, just a little bit. And after a while, uh, I'll turn everything off. Let's see, watch. I'm gonna turn this off. I don't have anything connected to it right now. And you'll see the voltage start fluctuating between the batteries. It's kind of interesting how it uh, does that. One may even jump up to 14 and a half, and the other one stays right around 13.8. And uh, right now they're doing pretty good. The sun's really doing good right now. Um, everything's charged up. This morning, uh, these numbers were kind of all over the place. It was a little concerning, but they seem to be leveling out now pretty good. And of course, I've got my little uh, circuit I made here for my cooling fan, for my charge controller for when it gets hot. One of the other things I wanted to talk about was switching over to 24 volts. Um, I was on a 12 volt system before. Uh, I had these really heavy wires connected to that um, power inverter I had, so I just went ahead and just used those. They were already in place. It's a little overkill for it, but you know, someday I may get a bigger inverter. But um, the pros and cons that I have found from switching over. Uh, I guess I'll do the pro first, is the power inverter. Um, I've got some paperwork here that talks about it. As you can see, this is the one I have here, the 3215. On a 12 volt system, it's a 390 watt charger. And at 24 volts, it becomes a 780 watt charger. Um, on 12 volts, I can do 1170 watts of uh, solar panels. And on 24 volts, I can do 2,340 watts worth of solar panels. So that's a uh, pro right there is that I don't have to go buy a bigger charge controller to add more panels. The only bad thing that I can think of um, are the batteries. Because I was on one battery, 100 amp hour, 12 volt. Went to 24 volt, I'm still at 100 amp hour because you run them in series, you stay that way. If I want to go to 200 amp hours, I have to buy two more batteries, not just one. So that's a, a bigger expense. If I was to stay at 12, then I would be at 200 amp hours now. And then I could just add one battery if I wanted, be at 300 amp hour, add another one, 400 and so on. But every time I want to uh, upgrade to a, a higher amp hour uh, reserve, I got to buy two batteries at a time. I'm not even using this battery over here. That's going to be for another project. That that battery, um, those 4D LT battery right there, they are not good for uh, a solar setup. I found out the hard way. They just, their reserve on that thing is horrible. These little batteries right here from AutoZone, um, you can see the date on this one. 1217 
and then I bought this one uh, last year and this battery is just as good as this one um, it lasts a long time I don't have any problem with them I've only ran them down twice uh, it was an accident cloudy days but um yeah I just uh maybe if I had it to do again I would probably stay at 12 volt um, saving money on wire just because you have a smaller amp draw to me I don't think is really worth it um, I know that at 24 volts the power inverter runs a lot cooler because it's not having to uh, draw so much amperage um, my lights up here um, that one light on my 12 volt power inverter would draw 5 amps at 24 um, it's drawing you know two and a half at the most so it's half the amperage but it's still you know the same wattage you know it's 60 watts no matter how you look at it the 12 volt system is pulling 60 watts 24 it's pulling 60 watts so you know you're not gaining anything by going to a 24 volt system at least i didn't i didn't gain anything um i already had the wire i didn't have to buy it so i don't see where switching is really going to save anything unless you already have a charge controller that can handle a higher voltage input i'm at 80 volts coming in right now i can go up to let's see it says here on a 12 volt system 150 volt and on a 24 volt system 138 volt i'm never going to really run it like that i highly doubt it but uh i get you know that's like having two charge controllers i'm able to double my output on that if i uh, need to that's the only gain i see switching to 24 volt on my system on yours could be different but uh, if i had it to do again if anything ever happens to this i've already messed one of these up it just woke up one morning and it was dead um, Amazon was kind enough to replace it uh, got a new one but if this ever quits the warranty has gone whatever happens I'll probably switch back to 12 volt if I don't have all the uh, extra panels that I want to do on the roof um, I have a small system it's just backup power to run refrigerators and a freezer in the house uh, we live on the Gulf Coast and um, sometimes we get storms that knock power out and <clears throat> that's what I made this for is coming out of the power inverter I'm going into this breaker box which I have off now and the Romex comes out there and goes into the house and I've got a plug behind the refrigerator if the power ever goes out for a long length of time all I got to do is just uh, flip that breaker plug it in and I've got a refrigerator uh, I don't know how long it would run which is you know two batteries but I believe if I had four batteries in parallel at 400 amp hours I'd get a lot more use out of it than four batteries at 24 volt at 200 amp hour no brainer right so batteries are always the problem with uh, with the solar trying to or even with wind power you know you got to save all that power and it's all in the batteries these are easy getting panels and getting a charge controller piece of cake Saving all that power, that's where the money's at. Go to lithium, they say. Well, yeah, you know, I guess if you can bust out 500 bucks per battery at the drop of a hat, go ahead. But I can't do that. Um, but anyway, just wanted to show you my little upgrades here. I thought that was pretty neat. Cut this out on my laser. Um, I made two of these little plates and mounted these behind it. And then I could just cover it with, uh, just snap that on there. And covers up the screw, makes it look pretty neat. Just took a piece of half inch plywood and just cut a hole out in the back for the wires. And I like putting all my wires behind everything. Uh, the wires are all back here. I uh, can't really see them back there, but they're back there. And coming in behind that box up there, it keeps a neat, uh, keeps everything neat. Well, that's my little setup and um that's probably all i'm going to do to it for some time any upgrades i'm going to do are going to be down here so i appreciate you watching and have a great day